Today on the Texas Tribune Weekend Insider, Houston defense lawyer Rusty Harden has garnered fame for his work with high-profile celebrities like Roger Clemens, Scottie Pippen, and Adrian Peterson. But before he defended the accused, he was on the other side of the courtroom, prosecuting criminals. Now he will be in charge of prosecuting another former prosecutor, Williamson County State District Judge Ken Anderson. The former district attorney is accused of hiding evidence in a case that sent an innocent man to prison for life. Reporter Jay Root profiles Congressman Louie Gohmert. The East Texas Republican is not shy about voicing his opinions. He has compared homosexuality to bestiality, warns that evildoers are making terror babies, and was an original co-sponsor of the Birther Bill that critics of Barack Obama used to question his U.S. citizenship. So why do they love him so much in his district? Find full versions of these stories this weekend at texastribune.org. Rusty Harden is a sort of famous defense lawyer in Houston, a town full of big name defense lawyers. Um, he was formerly a prosecutor in the Harris County District Attorney's Office for about 15 years. And in 1990, he switched over to the defense side. And since then, he's sort of developed a specialization in representing big name defendants who are charged with breaking the law. Some of his clients in the past have included Scottie Pippen, uh, Wade Boggs. Most recently, he represented Roger Clemens in his trial involving uh, steroids. So Ken Anderson in December will be facing a court of inquiry to determine whether or not he should face criminal charges for his role in the um, trial of Michael Morton after DNA evidence showed that he didn't commit the crime but that another man did. In the process of investigating his wrongful conviction, his lawyers determined that there were several key pieces of evidence that were withheld during Michael Morton's original trial. And so the point of the court of inquiry is to determine whether or not Ken Anderson intentionally withheld evidence that could have helped to exonerate Michael Morton from the very beginning. So really, lawyers, criminals, judges, everyone in the criminal justice system really across the country is watching this case because it has very large potential consequences for the criminal justice system. It's very rare that a prosecutor will face any sort of criminal um, potential charges as a result of their role in a wrongful conviction. Louis Gohmert is an East Texas lawyer. Uh, he went to A&M and Baylor. He went to A&M undergrad and got his uh, law degree at Baylor University. He's always been extremely conservative. I talked to one of his law professors and he said, you know, he's 32 degrees to the right of Attila the Hun um, and that he's only gotten more conservative over time. But he's extremely popular in his district. He, he's known for saying controversial things, but they like that. You're attacking the messenger. Anderson, you're better than this. You used to be good. Uh, you follow me around the world. You see me hugging Muslims. He certainly has gotten a lot more attention when there are controversies that he weighs in on. The Aurora shootings. It does make me wonder, you know, with all those people in the theater, was there nobody that was carrying that could have stopped this guy more quickly? He's in sync with his district, I think. He's always won by an incredibly large margin. He does have a Democratic opponent who's given virtually no chance of, of winning. It would take a huge scandal, not something he said, something he's done, that would be out of sync with his district that, that would have to bring him down. I mean, you know, otherwise I think he's, he's in good shape. The way it is now, I, he, you know, he's congressman for life. Mm -hmm.